welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be learning mathematics together. So let's get started. But before that you have to like, subscribe and share and ring that notification bell so that you get updates when I post a new video. Let's get on to the video. So what I wanted to tell you is that whenever um, like what we the mathematics that we are going to be learning is not the ordinary math that you learn in your school and you know that which math we are going to be learning is called Vedic maths. Vedic maths is made so that it gives you some tricks and you get get better at maths. So now let's get started. Okay, so the method we are going to be using is Nikhilam Lavatashcharam Dashitaha and we are going to be learning subtraction. Okay, so the method or the sutra we are going to be using is called Nikhilam Navatashcharam Dashitaha. Okay, so the its meaning, the, the meaning of Nikhilam Navatashcharam Dashitaha is all from the 9 and the last from the 10. I'll tell you what it means later. This sutra is used for um, subtraction and multiplication and division but that's for another day okay so um, basically a uh, aadhar or a base number is numbers of power of 10 okay its power of 10 is like 10 hundred thousand 10 thousand lakh 10 lakh crores and so on okay so it's like that and now I'm going to tell you the method to do it. So what the method is, you have to write the aadhar or the base number on top. And then you have to write your subtrahend on the bottom. Okay. So after that, so what, what you want to do is identify the all numbers and identify the 10 numbers or the last numbers. Okay. So after that, what you're going to be doing is you're going to just subtract and you'll get your answer. So now let's do it now let's see so let's take an example let's let's take the example as 100 minus 39 okay so now we we i'll tell you that this is the minuend okay this is important no important to know this is a minuend and this is a subtrahend Sub. okay so this is it uh, this is a subtrahend so now we are going to be identifying the all numbers and the last numbers so you have to identify it on the subtrahend so what you do is just make you have to remember that the last number of the of the number last digit of the number it will be the last so it will be the last but the num the digits which are to the left hand side of the last digit will be the all numbers okay it will be all numbers now let's take the um let's because of that, we'll just have to convert these numbers. So the uh, last zero is going to turn into 10. Okay. And the remaining 10 which is left is going to turn into 9. Okay. So we have converted and done everything. Now let's just, you know, uh, just take out the answer. So 10 minus 9 is 1. And 9 minus 3 is 6. So your answer is 61. Okay, so 61 is your answer. Now let's take an example with a bigger number. Okay, let's just erase all this. Now what we're going to do is take a bigger example. Like let's take 10,000. Okay, 10,000 by, hmm, 
uh, let's take six. Let's take six, nine, seven, eight. Let's take that number and we'll start the process. Okay, now let's start the process. Now we have to identify the all numbers and the last number. Remember what I told the last digit is the last. Okay. And all the numbers that are left here are the, you know, uh, the all numbers. These are the all numbers. So, uh, these are the all numbers. Let's say all. Okay. So because of that we have to convert. Okay, so the last zero will become 10 and the rest of the zeros will, and 10 and this last 10 will become 9. Okay. So now let's take the answer. So the answer is let's minus first. So that you know we can get to know the answer. So 10 minus 8 is 2 and then 9 minus 7 is 2 and 9 minus 9 is 0 and 9 minus 6 is 3. So your answer becomes 3022. Okay, that's your answer. Okay, now let's take the other one. Uh, let's take another example with even bigger number or other. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So, let's take um, okay, that's our number. Um, and then that's a minor. Let's take the subtract hand. Should be 5.18. So as you have observed in the all the earlier examples, we had the you know subtract hand equal to the digits of the zeros. Now in this case, it isn't. If it isn't, what you can do is just put zeros. Okay, how much zero is required? It just depends. Okay. Now let's just do as normal the conversion. This is the, the, our last digit. Okay, and all of these are alls. The all. So after that, let's convert. Then let's make them all nine. And now let's minus. So 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 1 is 8. And 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 9 minus 0 is 9. That's your answer. So this was our last example. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new and found subtraction easier. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share and ring that notification bell so that you get updates on it.